We are wrapping up our Healthy, Wealthy and Wise Monday with a delicious dish. Chef Matthew Byrne from Kitchen is here. I always love when you guys are here because it just smells so delicious. Right. Just walking over to the side of the studio. Well, nothing wrong with toasted garlic, right? Oh my gosh, exactly. So you're making a, a new type of squash dish exactly. that is on your menu right it's now. It's on our current menu. It's 100% vegan. And obviously the, tr the trend towards vegan eating is really really on the rise yeah so I was thinking like with how with uh, Thanksgiving you're gonna make the big turkey dinner and everything right. you're probably gonna have someone there that wants to eat vegan so right. this is a good option and it is on our menu right now perfect so we just take it we call it roasted butternut squash with quinoa salad and wild mushrooms so Yeah. we just take a butternut squash like one here we peel it we core out the bottom and we wind up with this that we roast into the oven with a little bit of uh, just olive oil salt and pepper so it's tender okay so it tastes a little meaty so it's good then we just take some quinoa that we parboil and we make our quinoa salad so a little bit of quinoa some charred corn, a little bit of fresh tomato, a little bit of sweet onion, some chives. It all just, it looks nice. You know, it's when you beautiful. get these vegetarian or vegan dishes, they look so appetizing because you have so many different colors in sure. there. Sure. My grandma used to say the more colors in, it means it's healthier for you. Right, exactly. Exactly. So we, we have a little balsamic, uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Okay. And we're going to just put this inside. So you do this ahead of time. Okay. And you roast this in the oven just to warm it up. The butternut squash is already pre-cooked, so you're pretty good there. We'll pretend this one came out of the oven. Yes. <laughs> we serve it on a bed of sauteed spinach. If you don't like spinach, do kale, do something else. Um, we use string beans and yellow wax beans in ours. You could put asparagus. You could put, I mean, anything whatever you, you want, anything right? you want. Exactly. There's no rules. Then we take some uh, beautiful forest mushrooms. This is, happens to be beech, porcini, and a little bit of um, gnocchi. Mm -hmm. And we just uh, saute those with a little bit of garlic and olive oil and a little bit of fresh parsley, excuse me. And Gotta get the green kinda, in there, right? Yeah, you definitely want that. <laughs> and then the mushrooms just really beef it up and make it a little meatier. And then we garnish it with a little bit of our balsamic drizzle, which just makes it look a little pretty. Wow. And then just for another garnish, a little bit of fried leeks. That looks delicious. And it smells delicious. And it's too. good. And you could make these ahead of time. Like I said, yeah. you can make the quinoa, put it, have them on sheet trays and just put it right in the oven when your guests come. It's no mess, no fuss, done. All right, now these are a couple of things that I always want to cook myself, but I'm afraid. Right. So the quinoa, is there a trick to cooking quinoa? Salty water and boil it. Okay. Really well, simple. That should and then be strain easy it enough, and, right? And it's nice to let it cool down on like just the sheet tray. So okay. you don't flush it with more water because you're rinsing some of the stuff out of it. But it's really easy to cook it ahead. And you can use quinoa for so many things. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. It's a good option to rice too, right? Absolutely. It's, it's, it's considered a superfood because it can absorb uh, three times its weight in water. So when it gets inside you, it really does good things for you. And what about the squash? What are your tips, you know, when it's intimidating when you buy it like that? Right, I always say people don't love eggplant, but they don't buy it because they're scared of eggplant. They're scared of squash. Yeah. But it's really not that easy. If you have a good vegetable peeler, you just peel the outside of it, okay. chop it up, and roast it. Toss it with olive oil and roast it in an oven. And you can, then you can mash it. You can make soup with it. You can do anything with it. It's so versatile yeah. and it's so good for you. It's really high in vitamin A. Yeah. Really high in fiber. It's just great. So this dish is like, you're going to feel really good when you're done. All right. And so. we can come get it at the restaurant now. You can come seven days a week now. Um, we're not open on Thanksgiving, but we are doing like a Thanksgiving catering. If anyone is lazy and doesn't feel like uh, <laughs> cooking, we can do it for you. Just call the restaurant. They'll give you all the details. And we also have our coconut cake, which has become sort of famous. Oh, That's yes. available. So if you don't want to have pumpkin pie, come pick up one of our coconut cakes. All right. Thank you so sure. much, Chef. We Thanks appreciate so it. Happy Thanksgiving to you, to you and your family. Enjoy it with your son. Thank you so <laughs> much.